what's up to all my Pisces. So please make sure to get my book on Amazon or barnesandnoble.com. The link to that is in the description box below as usual. Um, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share the video. So let's get into it for the Pisces. Um, yeah. Oh, just got a notification. Uh, so you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Cups. Wow, Six of Cups seems to be very prevalent. And the Wheel of Fortune, too. Um, you have the Two of Swords, Six of Wands, Ten of Wands. Wait, hold on now. Hold on. If I keep getting cards that are similar. Okay, now. The Ten of Wands, the Page of Wands, Five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, I was not about to say it. Uh -huh. Um, so the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune seems to be a very prevalent two cards that keeps coming up, right? This time around, it's more so about like how you choose to handle people coming back to you, you know, whom you used to speak to, potentially even be in a relationship because the Six of Cups is more so about people whom you had some sort of romantic interest in and they had some sort of romantic interest in you. So since you Pisces got the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups, Two of Swords, this is about how a lot of you Pisces need to understand, to listen. This is, this, see, listening, see, Two of Swords is also a very prevalent card that keeps showing up, right? Um, it's saying how you need to listen. You need to pay attention. See, listening is more important than looking, right? 80% of information goes through our eyes because, because most people process information through their eyes. That's the reason why it is that they say you, that's the reason why they use euphemisms for I understand as I see. But listening is more important than seeing because with listening, you gain more of an insight to things that are not said things that need to be said, what's being said to you that you may have to read into, it's all attributed to listening. So the two of the two of swords, excuse me, represents how you need to listen, right? This person, even in the picture, Arya in the picture here is blind, which represents she has to rely on her other senses in order to guide her. And when a person is blind, one of their most powerful weapons is the ears listening. So the six of wands and the 10 of wands represents, you'll know that you're not tripping and it's really time for you to stop hanging out with this person from the way that they come at you. If they come at you disrespectfully, then you know that there was a reason why you didn't want to hang around this person anymore. It's because they were full of it and every time they come around you they can't seem to control themselves and they start wilding out the, so the ten of the ten of wands represents you need to learn to leave them alone you're right you were right for leaving them alone the first time and now it's saying that you have the closure that you're looking for right because sometimes a lot of people they want some sort of closure while you're getting it The page of wands and the five of wands represents don't tell the person that you're leaving either, right? If they if they ask you what's up, tell them that you're going to think about it, okay? Or agree with them and then leave quietly, right? Essentially ghost them, ghost them. Because a lot of times people don't necessarily understand Ghosting, if put in context correctly, does have a meaning, right? Ghosting isn't necessarily always wrong. Ghosting is right when you know the person is going to react ignorantly, or I should say to be more accurate, well, because ignorance plays a part in it, because ignore because ignorance means to ignore what is obvious or what is right in front of their face, right? But they're going to be, they're going to be, uh, my voice is powerful, sorry. But they're going to be um, reactive 
to an abusive, to if you tried to say, hey, what's up, reflection. If you try to say, hey, what's up, um, you know, uh, you don't want to talk to them anymore. They're going to start to be abusive. So then you have the Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Swords, which represents how a lot of you Pisces are now in a situation where, so after you ghost them, right? After you ghost them, they're going to be wondering where you are. They may even call you a lot. But the Queen of Cups represents how you need to keep it pushing for you because you know how they're going to move, right? For the ones who have ghosted, they're calling you and you and don't pick up the phone because you know how they're going to move. And the Seven of Swords is you know how they're going to move. They're going to be very aggressive, very disrespectful towards you, very combat, uh, combative. And you don't want to deal with that, especially when you don't have to, especially if it's someone that, you know, whom you're not even in a relationship with, who whom you've already had experiences in relationships with. But, you know, so, you know, but they want to do it again. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups, shall we? The Seven of Cups, Page of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Like I said before, you know, there's many different ways that you can go about having a discussion with, I should say, letting go of this person. You can get back together with this person. You could choose not to let go of them at all. You can choose, that's what the cups represent. You can choose to tell them that you're leaving. You can also choose to just leave. The page of swords and the seven of pentacles represents, if you tell them you want to leave, they are going to misperceive it incorrectly. I'm letting you know. So, um, Watch your back, okay? This person is not to be talked to. This person needs a whole lot of leave alone because they're very ignorant. They're very abusive in the way that they handle theirs. They're not They're not in the moment. So that's pretty much it. Uh, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe.